Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for June 27th, 28th, 29th, and the 30th. That is Monday through Thursday. Now, if you've watched me before, you know this is going to be the introduction for all of the videos, but I will post a, a timestamp so you can bypass this introduction. Now, I will be using my Radley Valentine decks for this reading. I will use my Archangel Power Tarot cards, main reading. I'll pull one from my Guardian Angel cards. I will also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, for the overview though, I will be using my Weight Rider Traditional Tarot and my Colleen Barrett Reed The Good Tarot. I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Just remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. So we have that really big, you know, I am posting this on Friday, and we have that grand alignment going on. And, I mean, you, it's not just five planets. I mean, it is all the planets have some sort of an alignment going on. Uh, Pluto may not necessarily be quite where it needs to be, but it's within a really good um, distance. It's also, when you see the moon up there, think, you know, think that's in a way, you know, we're not going to be able to see the earth, but the earth is part of this alignment also. Now, the you know, so there's a lot of different weird things going on with this alignment. All the planets have some sort of connection. You may not be able to see them. Maybe you might need a telescope or um, binoculars, and even then you may not be able to see them all too. So we still have that going on. Um, again, this Friday, today was the biggest part of it. It will still be going on Saturday. And then it starts to slowly move. They start to slowly move away from each other. Um, I did talk to you the last time about, you know, that song Aquarius. That has been running through my mind again. And the other thing we also, you know, since this started, you know, as these all these planets were moving into this major alignment that's called the Great or Grand Planetary Alignment, um, you know, this also started, what was it, back in, was it April, May? So in May, there was a waxing moon in Leo. In June, a waxing moon in Leo. And there will be another waxing moon. I said it was on the 1st and 2nd of July. So there's some interesting energies going on. You know, I do follow the, um, you know, I do follow a few, not necessarily astrologers per se, but um, people that, you know, talk about what these are, what's going on. And I have to tend to agree that we just don't really know what this is all about because it hasn't or it doesn't happen for us, you know, too often. Now, the um, interesting thing about this, excuse me, somebody's, uh, oh, stop that, stop that. So the interesting thing about this is that as this goes on and we do have that new moon or the waxing moon in Leo on that first and second, um, I talked about Pluto, which has been in Capricorn, and Pluto started that, um, you know, that um, in February 2022, it was in the um, birth chart of the United States back in, you know, July 4th, 1776. So, you know, it that was the same type of station it was in at that time. So that has a lot of uh, revolutionary days type of energy going on. This July 4th, it will be, it'll be almost where it was back in February, but it's going to be a little, one, like one little degree off. So, you know, who's to say what's happening? Pluto is the planet of destruction, but then it is also the planet of rebirth. And we, he, Pluto has been in there in uh, Capricorn since 2008. Things will be shifting in 2023, but and then definitely shifting in 2024. So I feel like this could be more of that, you know, maybe the tower card, things have to come down in order for things to be built up again. Because, you know, Phoenix, the ashes of the Phoenix, the Phoenix rises from the ashes. So just put that out there. Um, another weird little thing that came to me that I have to share is, you know, that... I, I tend to feel that the, um, you know, the planets, you know, I, I, I've said this a couple of times, it's almost like they're getting together for a conference. And you can almost feel like, you can almost feel the energies just watching us. And it, it came to me how Earth is the only planet not named 
after a Greco or Greco, 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 Greco um, Roman god. So it just, you know, it's just an interesting, like, why, why weren't we? Why weren't we with that? So it's kind of like, a, you know, interesting energies going on. The watchers are watching. What are we going to be doing? Who? We're not even sure. But let's see if the cards will tell us anything from higher power. One card has fallen. You know, when they fall, we need to see what they're about. And uh, did I tell you I am a, um, I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power and whatever it is, higher power, I just say, just let it come through. Um, so clear cognition is, I guess, the other word for that too. Another card has fallen and let's go ahead and cut and see where we're at, what we're doing here. Okay. Remember to always remember whatever is going on the, in the world, in the universe, we still have to live our lives and we are of the light. So we need to stay shining. We need to burn bright. Okay. Ne even though um, sometimes it doesn't seem that easy. Okay. Let's see what we have here. First card, the Hierophant. Okay. The Hierophant's an interesting card. And if you follow me, you know that I'm not necessarily a fan of the hier Hierophant. This is a five, five, you know, so there is a five here. Five has um, change energy, positive, negative energy. It could be either one, but it's a little bit on the stressful side. The Hierophant is the business of religion, the business of government. This has a very strong Pisces energy here too. You know, I mean, because that's really, we, are, we have been in the age of Pisces where it has been about rules and regulations and, you know, do as I say, you know, this is the way it needs to be about doctrines, um, you know, and just, and, and it is, doesn't necessarily mean from religion. And I'm not talking spirituality. I'm not talking about connection with higher power, God, spirit, Holy Spirit, you know, Holy Spirit. I'm not talking that. I'm talking about the rules assigned by government and by um, religion. So the Hierophant has that very strong structure, that very, you know, this is the way to do it. You don't even have to think. You just know, follow the rules. Okay, you know, maybe life won't be easy, but I follow the rules. I'm not going to get in trouble. Um, but, you know, the Hierophant energy comes and, and, you know, and it's kind of a little bit of a, of like, well, you know what? Okay, you, you be you, you do you. Um, I think we're going to try something different here. So the Hierophant is kind of that energy. It's like, do we follow the rules? Do we follow the regulations? Um, do we do as they're, as we're being told? Or do we possibly do something a little bit different? I do not, you know, I'm saying, you know, it's all in love. It's all in peace. It's all in the light. Um, you know, the Hierophant sometimes, you know, like I said, it kind of, it, it's, it's very structured and there's very strict boundaries to this. So we could be seeing that this coming week. Let's see what the next card is. But then we come to the world. The world is a breakout, uh, is a breakthrough energy. This is a 21. So we have 210. So 1010 is transition. But we also have that two energy. Two is choices. It's decisions. It's which way are we going to go? It's coupling together. And then we have the one. One is a new beginning. 2 plus 1, 3, very powerful number, celebration, and also creativity. The world is things are done. The job is completed. Whatever needed to be done is done. So what, is, what does that have to do with religion? What does it have to do with the government? Um, you know, it, these are both major arcanas. These are both universal energies. But whatever it is, it's done. Now what we have to do is either we rest we, you know, we, we just kind of think back. We um, contemplate a little bit. The other thing, though, with the world card is that we take our lessons that have been learned and now we share them. We share them with others. So, but, but a lot of times between that, there is that resting period and then we get ready to move on again. But there is a sense of completion with the world. There is a sense of um, you've, done, you've gone through a lot of the trials Again, you know, these two being connected, you know, that's going to be interesting. Let's see what this card has. Then we come to this reverse card. This is a, um, you know, like I said, reverse, well, I have said, reverse cards have a little stronger energy. This is a minor arcana, but this is the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups, three again, I talked about that. There's the power of three, saying something three times, doing something three times. 
and you know it, it you know having two other people with you as you all come into agreement it's also like i said celebration it's also creativity cups is our water energy it's cancer pisces scorpio fluid um, emotional very spiritual energy too we are in cancer right now we do have our cancer full our cancer new moon on the 28th and that will be at uh, 1052 um, 10.52 p.m. It does bring a new uh, season for us. So there could be a very, you know, there that things are moving. There, you know, there th th these two are the ones to watch, but this is the one how we're dealing with it on the earth. And again, the new moon is on that 28th, 10.52. Now we also have early in the day, earlier in the day on the 28th, we have Neptune, going retro in Pisces. It's not strongly there yet, but it is. So that, you know, Pisces again, Pisces season, transitioning into Aquarius, but that's not like a light switch that just, you know, flips on. You know, it has, it's more of a dimmer switch, and sometimes we make it a little lighter, sometimes we make it a little darker. Neptune is about secrets, dreams. Um, Pisces is also. So, you know, Pisces is, like I said, Pisces is about, um, we've been 2,000 years in the age of Pisces, which has been about religion and um, government. So, you know, so we've got something going on with that one, too. Who's to say? We will see. But this is about celebration. This is lifting your cup. This is enjoying whatever this is. Um, this, And again, there is a lot of movement with this energy here. So now, you know, let's see. Let me know what you're thinking about this. Let me know what you're thinking about this. And, you know, the Hierophant, I'm a little, you know, I'm a Leo, so it's kind of like I'm a little bit rebellious against this cusp of Cancer, Moon in Pisces, um, and then my Venus is in Gemini. So, you know, and oh, we're going into, Venus is turning into Gemini. So I've got a little bit of it all. I do have some Earth signs and Earth energy there. I think something's in Virgo. Can't remember. Anyway, let's see what we have. Higher power, what can you... What can, oh, we've got a couple of cards that have fallen on the floor. And like I said, when they pop, we have to read them. Okay, let's see. Okay, good, come on, come on. Okay, so now, and they fell like this. So now we have justice. This is Major Arcana again. And this is Justice card. Justice, you know, this could be, this could relate back to the Hierophant, could relate back to the world. We have a 1 1. You know, new beginning, new beginning, 10 transition, 1 plus 1, 2. We've talked about what that is, decisions, choices, justice. Justice could be very um, in the, in the um, natural. It could also be in the supernatural. It could be karma being um, fulfilled, karma being met. It could also be justice coming to this world. So let's see what the next one is. Oh, okay. Now we have, and this is good. I love this one. This is the 10 of Earth. 10 again, transitional energy. So we've got some ones going on with that. Um, Earth, Pentacles, um, Virgo, Capricorn. Remember, Pluto's in Capricorn. And I do feel like we're coming to that part where Pluto now has to do some rebuilding in Capricorn. Or Capricorn's kind of saying, enough is enough. We have to do it. But it's not necessarily going to be quick. It's not necessarily going to be easy. But the 10 of Earth actually is a very positive energy it's a very, you know, it's a very uh, stable energy, too. So, and our last one is, again, we have that three of cups, the three of water. So there's confirmation. So whatever's going on, even if we're feeling, even if we don't necessarily see the outcome, it does feel, especially in the um, spiritual and the supernatural world, it does feel like there is positive energies moving, positive things happening, celebra celebratory energy you know, I'm always surprised. I'm I'm always thinking that I'm going to come in and like, oh my goodness, honey penny, the sky is falling. And then the cards say that things are moving. Things are moving the way the divine wants them to do, the way higher power God is, you know, things are working out the way they're supposed to be working out. But again, we get the three of water, we get the three of cups, which is the same energy, and it's all about celebration. Okay always interesting anyway let me know what you think also to you know like 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 please like because that moves the um 
algorithm thingy or something it gets the video seen more so thank you but also you know besides liking share subscribe click on the bell for notifications do all the things you need to do comment let me know what you think about this one because um there, there there's a lot of hidden layers with this and um i still go back you know the thing is though the three of cups and the three of water see these are universal energies these become what's going on more around us. So, um, you know, I would say with the Ten of Earth and I would say with the celebration, even if things don't make sense, don't let fear guide you. Don't let fear rule you. Remember, fear, tool of the devil. So don't let that happen. And, you know, I do feel like even, and even if you feel like things are not necessarily going the way you want, laugh. Laugh in the face of the devil. Laugh in the face of the evil energies. Okay, that rise that brings our vibration to a higher level. Okay, so anyway, I will start our videos now, and like I said, there will be a link where you can just bypass all of this. Thank you. Hello, my Virgos. Oh, aren't you just ready to let go? Let go of it all. I mean, they've been holding on to you too long. Whoever they are. They've just been holding. They're just needy little suckers. <laughs> needy, needy little things, aren't they? <laughs> needy, needy, needy. Anyway, let them stand on their own two feet for a change. Or maybe it's time to let them stand up. I don't know. Anyway, and maybe it's, well, maybe it's time for you to stand up for yourself, too. Anyway, let's see. Higher power, oh, okay. Higher power has dropped a couple of cards. So let's see what we've got here. Never quite sure. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Just know this could be backward and forward. This one is reverse, so strong stuff there. But these are the ones that were dropped, so let's see what we've got here. First card is, ooh, pay attention to your intuition this week. Really connect. And I know, I talked about connecting with higher power, but really, that's what we've got to do. You've got to have, like, it's almost like your umbilical cord, okay? You need to be kind of like just connect 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 with higher power my virgos you have a lot of spirituality this is that time for you to really use that use your spirituality kind of call in some spiritual favors too high priestess is that oracle is that part of you that either connects with someone else that can do you know what we're doing or it's you yourself you can do this yourself you don't necessarily need another person but, you know, sometimes, sometimes, you know, people like that. But again, too, again, too, though, this is you connecting. This is you really listening to your intuition. And this is going to keep you very, very sharp. And I feel like this is going to keep you very sharp in your, um, in your work or your business career, too, because your earth energy. So this is going to keep you in that earth energy. It's like you're, the, you know, just trust yourself. Trust yourself. Trust the intuition. You know, some of this is just know it enough, just know it and let it just come out. It's also don't second guess yourself. Now, we have a two. Two is crossroads choices. Um, it can also be partnering too. Now, the high priestess, major arcana, archangel Heniel. But this is a very powerful energy, powerful psychic energy insights. And remember, new moon, moon cycles promote a lot of the psychic energies. Reflection and meditation that provides valuable information. Be at peace, though. The nice thing about higher power is higher power doesn't give you more, or the high priestess does not give you more than you can handle, okay? If it feels like it's more, then high priestess is saying you can handle it. You can handle it. Next card is epiphany. Epiphany. Now, this is the hermit energy. So we have a nine Nine is about, um, you know, let's wrap it up. Everything, you know, you've got everything you need. Epiphany is also light bulb. It's all of a sudden like things make sense to you. It's like, you know, again, it's like, oh my gosh, how did I not even see this? It's everything falls into place. Okay, again, major arcana, archangel Raziel energy. Raziel is also the magician, magician who says, again, You've got everything you need. Again, epiphany, light bulb, hermit energy. Again, connecting with higher power, following the light, following the source. Joy through spiritual growth. Be a light to others. Answers that come through meditation. So there's a really strong spiritual thing going on for you this week. Next card. 
Emperor. Okay, I do shuffle these energies too. So we have a four. Four is stability, organization, leadership. Emperor is Archangel Uriel. Uriel brings the light to a subject, okay? Uriel brings, you know, lets you see what needs to be seen, okay? So it's like it's no longer hidden. It is now the light is on it. So that Archangel Uriel is a really, um, you know, um, kind of a, you know, just a just a really strong, bad type of energy, okay? Not a bad energy, Neville. They're not a bad energy, not an evil energy, not a dark energy, but a really strong, will do, you know, kind of, neat, does what needs to be done type of energy. Very wise also. But the emperor also has a very strong, to me, um, masculine, has a very strong masculine side of the heavenly, you know, heavenly energies, okay? So, the thing about this is that whatever is going on, it does bring about stability, efficiency, taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. So what I would just kind of say is this is the type of energy that just pushes you into a situation. And it's kind of like, I really don't want to do this, but it's kind of like, you know, the heavenly energies just kind of push you in a situation. And all of a sudden you have the answers, you know what to do, and you you wind up being in charge, even if later on you're kind of like, I have no idea how that all happened, but it's just kind of like I was just pulled and pushed into that situation. Now, this one's reversed. Let's see what it has. Queen of Gabriel. So, Queen's underlying energy, because court cards have this, is water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We're in Cancer right now. Gabriel is our fire energy. Ariel, Mars, Jupiter is an Ariel. We're about to go into Leo, also Sagittarius, full moon. Very passionate, burning, very determined. So with this, this is telling you, be confident this week. Just go forth. Be that spiritual warrior. Just know that it just seems like you're going to be ticking off all the, not ticking off people, but you're going to be ticking all the right spots, okay? You're just going to be, you're going to be on fire this weekend. You're just going to go forward. You're just going to know everything. You're just going to know what needs to be done. And a lot of time, like I said, later on, you'll be like, I don't even know how that all happened. It just seems like I just was on fire. I just, you know, higher higher power just was just working really big through me. And of course, after that time, remember to say thank you. But the Queen of Gabriel is passionate, charming, brilliant, independent. You can do anything right now. Go after what you want. The ability to attract helpful people. And while it says go after what you want, you've got some really strong backup here. Some really strong backup that's pushing you into that place also. So it's kind of, I don't know if it's going to be just what you want or just you know. It's like, you're, you're, it's very strong. You know what you need to do. Okay, okay, now. <laughs> okay, we've got another one. Okay, here. Well, five of action. Okay, let's go with this. Five of action. Five, change. Action is, again, that fire energy. Your angel wants you want your angels want you to know that your current challenge pushes you to be assertive and self-confident. Be willing to stand up for yourself and defend your position. You have the right to excuse yourself from those who bring drama into your life. And remember I told you let them stand on their own two feet. But this is telling you to be assertive and you have the right to be assertive and you've got all of this um you know universal backup. And then this last card is again a major arcana. This is a 19. So we know what the 1 is. We know the 9. Um, you know, add it together becomes a 10. 10 is transition. And then add that 1 plus 0 together. It becomes a 1 new beginning. This is the sun. This is the sun energy. This is major arcana once again. Positive recognition. Congratulations. Your plans have worked out perfectly. And now it's your time to shine. Brilliant new ideas will present themselves to you, and success is all but assured. Express yourself openly and honestly, knowing that you're surround that those surrounding you are trustworthy. Be open to unexpected opportunities. So, like I said, you've got all this backup, and it's like if this is you really. It is taking you out of your comfort zone. You do need to, like it says, you know, you do need to be assertive and self-confident. But you've got all of this spiritual energy around you that's really pushing you. And just really saying, you know, we got your back. We got your back, Virgo. Okay, let's see 
you know, so you have actually four um, major arcanas, so big stuff. And that Queen of Gabriel, you can do anything right now. Let's see. So this is, this is a week for you, my Virgos. This is your week. Shine. Shine bright. Anyway, let's see, Virgos, what we have, what crystal or energy would be helpful for you. Okay. Here we go. Reversed. Water. So drink your water. Anyway, anyway, water is emotional energy, intuition, psychic power, healing. A lot of psychic energy around you this week. Okay, so shine bright, shine on. Do, you know, have confidence. Again, it's like you're going to, later on you're going to say, I don't even know how that even happened, but I was on fire. Anyway. My Virgos, please like, 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 like. Let's break that algorithm. I think that's what we need to do to move move the channel going. As always, the, oh, besides liking, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. Now, as always, though, my Virgos, and this is the important part, know that you are loved, stay shining, and be blessed. Bye-bye.